Little flexors, let's ride. So we'll just choice belt, attach, combustion blast for KO 280 and the knockout? That is insane. You all loved Lost March so much last week that you wanted me to bring it back. In today's Fan Favorite Friday episode, we're gonna look at Lost March with some new updates. Welcome back to the channel, Little Flexers. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is JW Crewall, AKA Flex Daddy. And this is the best place to be to learn about the Pokemon TCG and have some fun along the way. Now, last week I played a Lost March deck that by many accounts was not particularly good. So for this Fan Favorite Friday, you guys wanted it back. Now, every Fan Favorite Friday, I play a deck as chosen by you, the fans. So if you want to have your deck played, go down in the comment section below, leave a deck list or a deck idea, and the most liked comment will have their deck played on next Friday's video. So this suggestion comes from Eye of the Tiger, the most liked comment from last week. It says play Lost March again using Jumpluff, Cram, and Sableye with Radiant Charizard. So very cool. One of the nice things about the expanded format is that we have some fun energy to work with as well. So we have a fire type here, Radiant Charizard, going to attack for fire. We have a grass type here, Jumpluff, going to attack for grass. And we have a Sableye here, Psychic type, going to attack for Psychic Energy. Well, there's an energy here with no drawback that we can use, and that's Blend Energy. Look at that, Psychic, Fire, and Grass. Very fun. I remember when this card was released. I played this card in decks 10 years ago. Very fun to play with it again. Now, this whole deck is based around getting as many Pokemon into the Lost Zone as possible for a couple of reasons. First reason is so you can use Jump Bluff's Lost March attack. Does 20 damage for each of your Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Second reason is so that you can use Sableye and Cramorant. Now, Cramorant, you just need four cards. Same with Sableye, it needs 10 cards. Uh, but we're going to look to get cards into the Lost Zone via a combination of... Lost Blender, which allows us to put two cards into the Lost Zone. Trumbeak, which allows us to just slap a Trumbeak into the Lost Zone. We also get an additional benefit of peeking at the opponent's top card. And if it's a supporter, we can put it there as well. We also have the Skip Loom, which allows us to get out a Jump Luff and put the Skip Loom and the Hoppip into the Lost Zone as well. We also have Comfy from the Lost Origins set with the flower selecting ability. Allows us to look at the top two cards, pick one, put one in the Lost Zone. And we have the Colrus's Experiment to look at the top five and put two into the Lost Zone. So you can see just how much synergy this whole deck has with getting cards into the Lost Zone. I think this build is far and away better than what we played last time. Mostly because it relies on Sableye, getting a quick Sableye. I think the spread right now is just ridiculous. In both standard and expanded, I think you'll enjoy how much we can spread and what we can do with Sableye. So this is the list, you guys. Hope you enjoy these next couple of games. Remember, get your comments down below for next week's video. Now let's get into it. First video back in a week and back by popular demand. We have our Lost March deck in the expanded format. I'm excited to try this one out. Opening hand is not great, but we are going to see at least... Two more cards. If we want to retreat, we could see more. Um, I I just don't love having like a two skip loom, no hop ip. Trumbeak doesn't really do much for us aside from mountain pass. I mean, I do like mountain passing. It's a free card in the lost zone, so we'll get at least at least two in the lost zone here. Start off the game, not bad. If we can get like a level ball, that'd be all. Awesome. Ooh, and another comfy. Okay. Oh, and an escape rope. I, you know, I love it. I love it. Perfect start. Um, my heart says the rainbow. My brain says the lost blender. Lost blender is a draw card. Many people are saying this. But we lose out on a rainbow energy. We got to be really cautious now. Okay, I, I we can't get rid of another energy now because now we're down to we're down to four. So let's go here. Let's go wrap. Let's go flower select. Yeah, Jir actually Jirachi's insane right now. Okay, very good. Um, we'll trum Bizzle. Mountain Pizzle. It's a nice rider. Okay. Um, fog crystal. Fog crystal. The crystal. Uh, should we just get rid of two skip looms? Or 
I don't know. How, like, how relevant is Jump Love? Maybe we'll get rid of one Skip Loom and one Comfy. Okay. You've convinced me. Lost Blendor. Well. <laughs> um, let's play the Jirachi down, because we know that they play Path of the Peak. Although, does Path of the Peak... Dude, we priced three cores? What the... I was going to say, does Path of the Peak um, affect EXs? It's just... Is it just Vs? Man, I've been playing for too long that I just don't remember this stuff. I, I think it's fine to go here anyway. Um, like, it's not like the Marnius, right? That'd be crazy. That'd be freaking bananas. So they bring up their Calyrex. Already five in the Lost Zone. That's, that's kind of insane, actually. We're going to get seven, at least eight, at least. It's pretty good. I am definitely wanting to get a Cram here. So, yes, yes. Um, yeah, that's just better. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is good. This is good. And then maybe we could get like a... Maybe we could get a Guzma for next turn. We can get a Guzma for next turn. Because I do want to start pulling out the... Um, I do want to start pulling out the Colrus from our deck. Let's go here let's go here do this retreat here spit innocently for 110 still no hop ips i i feel very sad about this because we got one two three four four we would do 80 damage right now okay okay maybe it's a good thing that we don't have any hop ips then they're not doing more work than our cram. That's for darn sure. So we'll let them go ahead and drizzle here. Shady deal. Would like to get a hop up though on the next turn. Would uh, would enjoy that greatly. There's a Maloney. Okay. They do have water energy in the discard pile. They do have a dive ball. Great card for their deck. For that Ice Rider Calyrex. Oh, I, I did not see that coming. Who would have thought? Another dive ball, perhaps, for another Ice Rider Calyrex? V? You don't say? Nailed it. Wow, I just, I'm so good. <laughs> so good at this game, man. All right, so we can spread this turn of Sableye. I, I do feel like that is my calling in life. Um, bring up like a Drizzile or something and then spread or do something like that. Let's see. We got to take the energy, man. I'm like, I'm convinced on this. You can't convince me otherwise. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need one more. Um, I think we will use the Guzma, honestly. Gotta take the Radiant Zard. Okay. Um, I see, I'd like to save the stretcher for a turn we can use Radiant Zard. We might have to use it earlier. Um, I don't, I want to like force them to have other things. So I think I bring up the Drizzy. I either bring up the Drizzy or I bring up the Ice Rider. Ice Rider's maybe not too bad because they don't have a water energy in the discard pile. Um, yeah, I I mean, it. I, I, I just want to mess them up a little bit. I, I don't really feel like Guzma is going to do all that much for us, to be honest with you. Let's go Guzma. The Ice Rider. Bring up Sableye. Put this down. Go ahead and lost mine. Um, we can put all the damage on the active. I would just be worried about if they retreat, right? Because, um, like, this thing is always going to be a threat. 
So I'm I'm gonna or, or an option for us to knock out eight nine. That'd be two hundred. Okay, ten. We'll go ten because we can knock it out with a cram if needed, and then we'll put two on the active. That seems fine. We want at least I think three on this active because. Uh, no, we want at least four on, like, any Ice Rider. Okay, and they, they, they do get the Inteleon. I mean, that's fine. I don't know. We could have maybe knocked out the Drizzile, I guess. I mean, there's definitely an argument for that. I feel like our quickest mode of uh, victory, though, is going to be to go through two Ice Riders. So what I'm really hoping they do is that they don't heal any of these Ice Riders. Um, and that they evolve this Ice Rider into a VMAX. So we can keep the damage on it. It is kind of rough not having a jump bluff, man. I would love to have one. I think we need like a like a third attacker. I don't want to waste my uh, rescue stretcher here. But I might have to if we don't get another bench Pokemon. So there's a boss. I'm going to go after the Comfy. It's actually a really smart move, to be honest with you. Um, that pivot is really nice. We've already, we're already down like so many pivots do have the scoop up net, but, um, remember we have three Colrus prize. So I could scoop up net the Jirachi, but at what cost? Okay. Go flower selecting. Wow, dude. Uh oh. <laughs> um, okay. I think, you know what? I think cause they took a KO on not an energy that we could keep the Guzma. Are you, are you with me, chat? Are you with me? If you ain't with me, you're against me. Um, we could knock out a Sobble. We know that they have Drizzile in hand. I mean, one prize. It's like, how important is Colrissing on this next turn? I, th I think actually Colrissing is more important than knocking out the Sobble. So I will go, uh, they're at 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, and yeah, 320. And then we'll do... Um, yeah, I, I guess 10 to this Ice Rider. That that seems fine. Obviously, they have the Drizzile, but we have three Colrus Prize. So, like, forgive me for trying to, you know, draw some cards here. Um, Mr. Mime is fine. Two Colrus. Great. Okay. I do feel in the driver's seat at this point, but we're going to need... We're going to need some juice here. We're going to need some real juice. I might have to use the Rescue Stretcher. Um, what I'd like to do is just back-to-back -back Radiant Charizard, right? But if they just go in with this Ice Rider, I mean, we won't... Okay, so so I think we could actually use Rescue Stretcher on this next turn. That's that's great. That, that is um, quite nice. They might end us, which would be quite bad. But um, if we do get another Sableye off, I will knock out the Drizzile, and then I'll put damage on the Ice Rider, uh, and that way we can, we can use Radiant Charizard. So let's see what... They come up with, there's a dive ball. Maybe for, okay, another Ice Rider. That's okay. We do have that Guzma, don't forget. We should also try to scoop up this Jirachi. If we can. So there's a Max Lance. Who's Max, anyway? Ooh, and they have to discard an energy. That's cool. All right. All right, do you comfy first or do you chorus first? That's the hot debate on Twitter right now. Um, I think we'll, I think we'll chorus first. Lost vacuum can put another poke in the loss. Okay, I like that. I like that. That's good. That's good. Let's chorus first. It's just these three, straight up. Okay. Just those three straight up. Um, let's go Lost Vacuum. 
this jumpy. We could blender away to, I mean, then we just have literally not used the jump up line, which I'm embarrassed about. Um, but if it's what gets us the dub, then it's what gets us the dub. Hop it. See you later, dude. We could get rid of a Mr. Mime. Um, they could, I guess, Radiant Granoinga. That would suck. Let's go Lost Blender. Away. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. The mime, the mime like, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the Radiant Greninja. Okay? Forgive me. Forgive me. Okay. So we get this. We get this. We get this. We get this. I mean, we have it all in our hand, actually. Um, we have the dub in our hand if we just... If they don't disrupt our hand, we could also play down the Zard. Right? And force them to go after it. How many scoop up now that we use? Two. Have we sent any? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten? We're doing 200 damage with Jump Love. Sad we never got one out. <laughs> um, do I play the Zard? It's going to be very hard to find. So I think I play it here. And then let's go Lost Mine. And what I'll do is I'll put, I think I just, I, I, I split the damage so that a Zard for 250 can get the knockout. So, um, I could also do not, I could do nine here and three here and we have Guzma. Two fifty. That would force us to use the four, five, six. I don't, dude. It's too fast. It's too fast. Let me click. Let me click, please. Okay. Okay. I think this is fine. I I don't know how many. So we did too much damage here. Not enough damage here. Um. The the timer went down. I think if it would have ran out, we wouldn't have been able to place our damage counters. So, I just like <laughs> it was a mad dash. <laughs> All right, there's Maloney. No N in sight. Could have cross switchers. Could have counter catchers. Um, I think they like definitely needed to go into this Ice Rider. I'm not entirely sure, but I, I think that's a game. That, that game's wrapped up here for us. Barring some unforeseen insano play from my opponent. I, I think they're realizing they need to retreat. But we do just have the knockout with the choice belt and the Zard. Wow, it's just such a shame we couldn't get a, a jump bluff going in this game. Because we, I mean, Lost Blender's putting in work, to be honest with you. But uh, let's see what they got. Ride of the High King. Dude, you, you got to retreat here, man. You literally can't just leave this active. Okay, well. And no uh, no path, so that's cool. And so we'll just choice belt, attach, combustion blast for KO 280 and the knockout. That is insane. This deck is so fun. I would really encourage you guys to give it a try. Fan favorite Friday, as always, leave your comments down below in the comment section. The most liked deck will have their deck played on next week's video. So check it out. This is a fun one. Actually, I felt really smooth to get the Sableyes and the Cramorants going. So I might explore this again even more. I had a ton of fun with this one in the expanded format. Check out the list. I think it's way better than last week. Thank you all so much for watching. That's going to be all for me today. God bless. If I don't see you soon, I'll see you later. And remember, good luck. And also have fun.